DJBlake.com. Happy April Fool's Day to you and make no joke about it. This is hashtag everyday PB and J. I'm DJ Blake. Lots to get to today, so without further ado, please grab your peanut butter and jelly or whatever you are snacking on this afternoon, morning or night, whenever you're watching it. And let's get down, let's get down to business. My friend Tiesto says that, all right? Cheers. Here we go. Lots to talk about. Just so you know, almond butter today. Almond butter. Melissa bought some and didn't like it. Obviously, I'll eat it. So we're rocking almond butter and jelly today. All right, so thank you to everyone. If you follow me on social media, on the Facebook, on the Twitter, on the Instagrams, um, I put up a question yesterday asking you, what's your favorite baseball movie? The reason I asked you that is today it's opening day. Go Cardinals. Got my nice little uh, baseball tee on. Go Cardinals. Opening day. It's also April Fool's Day. And this is no joke that it is opening day, all right? I'm not going to pull any jokes on you. Not today. We're getting down to the business, like I said. So let's talk about your favorite baseball movie. So I guess you could say it's the greatest baseball movie according to you. What do you think? Well, according to me, I'm a list guy. You know I have lists for everything, and I don't really like ranking them, so here's what I did. I based my favorite baseball movie off how many lines I can recite, or like when I'm watching the movie, if I can follow along with it and like recite all the lines. Number one baseball movie for me is Major League, followed closely by Sandlot. I think I know more lines in Major League than Sandlot. But let's go to the social medias and see what you guys had to say. Let's see if there's uh and once again, there are so many good baseball movies out there. I just want to say on my list, I have a lot of them. Um, but those are the top two that I know the most. So on Instagram, shout out to, uh, let's see, Reagan Casson. That's my sister. She went with bench warmers. She's the only one that put bench warmers. So that was cool. Hell's Bells 23, Field of Dreams, A Fitz 1981, The Natural. Coach Clark 5 says Sandlot, everything else is wrong. Typical. Uh, Booma 58 went with Major League. Agreed. Jen Weber 72, Sandlot or A League of Their Own. Melissa T 1983, A League of Their Own. Jen underscore M14, A League of Their Own or Field of Dreams. Upchurch.Matt, he said as a kid... He likes Sandlot, Angels in the Outfield, and Rookie of the Year, but now as an adult, he likes Bull Durham more. Uh, JJP, uh, 1015, A League of Their Own, and Hutch in the Radio, Field of Dreams with the quote, Dad Wanna Have a Catch, or yeah, Dad Wanna Have a Catch. All great movies. Over on Facebook, thank you to Christina, a.k.a. Tink. Uh, she went with the Sandlot. Uh, Brian went with The Natural, The Natural, can't even talk, Tanya, A League of Their Own, Badass Ladies, of course, yes, uh, my cousin Ryan says Bull Durham, uh, amazing cast, my Aunt Sheila, Field of Dreams, Jeff, shout out to Jeff Owens, Hardball, and then he put G-Baby, of course, uh, Sandy Marshall, for the love of the game, another good one, Lori says Field of Dreams, Brett says Bull Durham for so many reasons, but he loves the believe in speech. And Neil said the final season. So many great baseball movies out there. One that didn't get mentioned, um, I love Moneyball. I know it's a newer one, and maybe that's why it's not so much like a classic. But Moneyball with Jonah Hill and Brad Pitt, based on true story, Oakland A's, that's a really good movie. So, I talk with my mouth full. That's kind of the point of the show because I need to eat this peanut butter and jelly. So, maybe as you're getting into baseball season, 
Go Cardinals. Um, if you want to get in the baseball spirit and the baseball mood, check out one of those uh, one of those baseball movies. And you can see them. They're listed. People commented on my Facebook and on my Instagram at one of or that's the radio station at the real DJ Blake. Sorry, sometimes they cross over. My mind goes crazy. Now, on to, of course, I gotta get you some tunes. I gotta get you some tunes, and we went digging once again in one of the original CD cases. It's broken, and they about fell all over, and that would have been horrible. We're going with... It's called the All Mixed Up Model. All Mixed Up Model. Now, once again, the titles are based off songs that are on the album, so... All mixed up. There's going to be some 311 on there. Um, and so, yeah. So here's what you're going to get. This is going to be a Spotify playlist. And uh, depending on if you're watching on YouTube or on one of the social media platforms, if you're on YouTube, the link will be in the description of the YouTube video. If you're on another social media platform, there'll be a link in a bio or something like that. What you're going to get, now this, this is going to be a small, this is going to be a small album or a small playlist because there's some songs on here that Spotify doesn't have. They were just like old house and techno music that I kind of just found on Napster and I looked for them and they didn't have it. So uh, you're going to get 311 all mixed up. You're going to get some 3-6 Mafia. Um, Destiny's Child is going to make it, DMX, Ja Rule, Ludacris, Shaggy, um, Stained, and Uncle Cracker. Get ready for the, I don't even know, All Mixed Up Model playlist on Spotify. Follow me at the Real DJ Blake. Oh, and one more thing. Let me take a bite. A lot of these YouTubers and stuff... They unbox items when they get them. I got a box in the mail today. So let's unbox it. Oh my gosh. What could it be? I'm so excited. What is it? I don't know. What's it going to be? Oh baby. I'll give you a clue. Here's where it's from. It's from Goat. Not even sponsored by him. Oh, I see you. I see you. Went with the gold Nike Epic Reacts. I had a white pair last year. Last year in 2020, pre-COVID, I signed up for a triathlon. That was my goal to run a triathlon. And I trained all year, and I didn't get to do one because everything got canceled. So uh, I really fell in love with these uh, Nike Epic React shoes. And um, I I'm not much of a runner, but this cushion right here, my knees never hurt at all, so if you're looking for a new running shoe, anything in the React family, if you're looking online and you're searching Nike, anything that's React has this same cushion. Shout out to my man Adam Anderson. He works at East Bay. He told me all that. Sorry I didn't get these from East Bay, but you didn't have my size. So um, I recommend these. I can't wait to get them on and get some miles on them. I put a whole bunch of miles on my ones last year, so... Wow, my first unboxing. Thanks for being a part of it. Uh, I've kept you almost way too long. Um, so, yep, I'm going to finish my sandwich. You finish yours. Happy April Fool's Day. Happy opening day. Go Cardinals. And just happy day to you. Have a good one. Cheers. I'm out.